Welcome back to the Data Professor YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Chenin Nanta Senamad, and I'm an Associate Professor of Bioinformatics. On this YouTube channel, we do data science concepts and practical tutorials. So if you're into this type of content, please consider subscribing. And so in the previous videos, I have shown you how you can use R, native R, right inside the Google Colab. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use both R and Python in the same notebook. But we're going to make use of the R magic command. And so without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is head over to the GitHub of the Data Professor and click on the code link. Scroll down and click on Python. Scroll down and find the R magic command dot IPYNB. Click on that. And you want to right click on the raw link and save link as and save it into your computer. And if you would like to use the Google Code Lab, please do so. For this one, we're going to use the built in R magic command, which essentially uses RPy2 under the hood. So let's see how it works. So you want to type in the magic command, which is essentially the percent followed by the load underscore ext. And you want to type in rpy2.ipython. So you want to load that up. Okay, and so you're all set now. Let's give it a try. Let's try importing pandas library. And so make note that this is on the Python side that we want to show. And let's say that we want to use the R syntax. Let's see if it works right now. And let's hope it doesn't work. Okay, and so it doesn't work, right? So we're using the R syntax in a Python code cell, so it doesn't work. And so let's say that we invoke the R magic command, which is essentially using 2% symbol followed by the capital R. And then afterward, you could use the R code, right? So we're going to use the same code that we have previously used just a moment ago. Okay, and so it works, right? So this is in the R language. And let's say that we want to install some packages in R. So same thing, we want to use the double percent symbol and the capital R. And then we're going to type in install.packages and parenthesis, single quotation, caret, and ml bench. So it's going to install the package for us here. We don't need this, so we just delete it. So we're also going to delete this. It's just in case that we want to install it separately. Okay, so it's installing. And so this code is the R workflow that we have covered in a previous video in using the Boston housing data set. So I'm going to show you that the R environment here is working. So after the package is installed, we're going to run the following code here. Okay, so it already installed the two packages. And so that took quite a while because the carrot package was pretty big to install. Okay, and so let's run this block of R code here. All right, so the code worked. So we have also run the R command inside here. Okay, so R code worked perfectly. And so previously we saw that the import of pandas worked, but what about other machine learning tasks? Let's give it a try. Okay, so let's find a Python code that we will use for this example. Let's go to Python. Let's go with the Iris data set. So let's copy the code here. Okay, and so it works, right? So the code in Python works with the output of the classifier score on the test data set, right? So it produces the answer. 
And so in this video, we have seen that we could work simultaneously with R and Python right inside the same notebook. And so if you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And so please enjoy the journey. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, please check out these videos.